Hey guys, it's Chamilai Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Minute Speed Paint with the theme of glasses. So this was day 3 of the challenge, and I'm starting to get the hang of it. I mean, I kinda knew how to budget the time a bit. I knew what to cut out, I knew what to speed up on, I knew what to just kind of gloss over. So it is getting a bit easier to do, but still not A++ yet. So we are doing Lidger Will Kresnik from Tales of Celia 2, and at the time, that was the most recent game. Zestiria wasn't out yet. It was coming out soon, but it wasn't out yet. So everyone was sort of leaning towards the Celia 2 characters, or Celia 1, Celia 2, since those were the most recent and they, and they share a cast, so there's that. And for those who are familiar with Ludger, you would know that he's sort of the person that takes care of the house a bit. Um, he does cooking and stuff. So I felt that, like the glasses would really fit him. And they put him in an atmosphere or an environment or a scene where he will need to use glasses. That's it pretty much. Like I just kinda look I just kinda like Ludger's design. And he was the first ever silent Tales of Protag, which is really new. Um even though Jude had options, like choice options in his dialogue. Ludger was the first one to be actually quiet, and that's really new and it kind of <laughs> freaked some people out, I think. It was, it was fine with me because I was playing Persona at the time, so I was kind of into the, into the silent poor tag thing. But it was interesting. Um, I do think that you can get his voice later on, but it was really interesting to see uh, a silent Tales of Poe tag. Since you get used to the ones that have a lot of personality, like Luke, um, Beauty, Lloyd, like you know them for their personalities, but Ludger was the first one where you would say that he was almost your stand-in. So this was done actually in June 10, 2015, which is a year and two months ago. So this is an old stream. Um, I guess I can provide a little bit of critique on it, but I can do that later. So the reason that these really old clips are coming out is because, number one, I really did kind of have them in queue already, in the sense that I already edited the videos, I just needed to do the voiceovers, and I just didn't know when to bring them out. And they were sort of like there just in case I didn't have any video to bring out for that week. And since I don't have any digital, I don't have any new digital recordings lately, because I've been a little, a little bit busy, I decided to start bringing these out. Uh, just in case I do a digital work soon, I'll just sneak it in there in between these old ones. And don't worry, the playlist that I put these in, which is the Tales of 69 Minutes playlist, They'll be in order when I first recorded them, so it would be like day 2, day 3, day 4, and then whatever else. So don't worry about that. That will be in order at least. So you can marathon watch that and see how much my join art style changed in a year. Which is actually pretty fascinating since I did this every day until day 40. Except I didn't live stream everything, sadly. Um, I did this until day 40, around 40, 50-ish, and then I stopped. And I resumed lately, which you saw. So yes, this is old. So the things that I do know this is that the hands are still wonky. They still are now, but uh, there is still the lack of a proper wrist. The four-round arm, this one that we are working on right now, is a little bit too thick, and there is a lack of a sharp wrist. The other hand, the one holding the book on the other hand, <coughs> no pun intended, is a little bit small. The nose is a little bit too high up, I think. That, yeah, the other shoulder seems a little bit too high, but I, th I think that's kind of intentional to, s to denote that he was holding the book close, but it didn't really work out properly. I actually do like how I colored his clothes here though, his shirt. 
Oh, the, the elbow's wonky, definitely. Um, it's really interesting how how much changes in a year in terms of your art. Well, you can say in terms of, of a person also, but in terms of the art, you can really do a lot in a year if you keep on drawing. Even if you feel like you stagnated, like for, for me, when I was doing this, I felt like my art was in this stage that it wasn't moving forward or backward. Uh, it would be bad if it went backward, wouldn't it? But I felt like I wasn't really progressing a lot. Even though I was, at this time, I was do, starting to do like realism stuff for class. And I guess that helped with this year. I mean, I got to apply a lot of the stuff that I learned there into my normal drawing style. But if you are really just patient and if you really try to study a lot of tutorials for example or trying out new styles it could really unconsciously actually it would work to fix a lot of your mistakes that you usually commit i guess this is really interesting since these are old clips and i do have until like day 20 ish i think um it would be interesting to see how much changes in just 20 days even. I mean, that's why draw everyday challenges are kind of popular. I mean, you could, aside from it being a challenge to force yourself to draw every day, it's also really nice to look at at the end of say a year and you could see if you did make any progress. For me, so far, I think I have. Um, for this year's draw on my moleskin perm one thing, I feel like I see some changes um, in terms of coloring, in terms of even the way I draw people are quite different. What am I getting at here? Um, maybe try it yourself actually. It's pretty fun. It's, it gets stressful but it's really fulfilling to see at the end of the day that um, there are things you manage to fix unconsciously. I like his hair though. I used the multiply layer. This side. Yeah. I used the multiply, or if it's not that, it's the um, overlay one, I think. I think I was starting to panic here since I wasn't adding as much shadows anymore. And I still needed to do the bowl, the book and the color of the line so I was starting to speed through everything here. So again, um, if I do any digital stuff in the near future, I'll be like slipping it in between these old recordings and they're all in a playlist anyway. The Tales of 69 Minutes 1 is in a playlist of its own so you can watch there in order of when I created them. Whoops! I forgot to take that out. Never mind. I was listening to some Vocaloid stuff, so there you go. I'm too lazy to cut it out! So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, leave a like if you enjoyed this thing, I'll be uploading more, don't worry, I'll get back into, into the challenge soon, um, subscribe if you want to see more drawings, um, I do a lot of fan art, but I also do a lot of character designing speed paints, 
follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. See you around.